How's it going folks? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you guys how we make our venison jerky. It's one of my favorite snacks, honestly. Well, one, because it's so healthy. Venison, it's so lean. We don't mix it with pork or anything. It stays together just fine. And venison is so lean and so healthy for you. And it tastes so good. We got this seasoning I'll show you guys here. It's called Uncle Abe's Jerky Seasonings. One of our favorites. We found it tastes super good. And yeah, and it's also so easy. You just grab a little thing from the fridge and take a Take a, a strip and then you're good to go. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So what, you, what you're gonna need, not very much, you're just gonna need your uh, your ground medicine, obviously. Like We like to do it in around five pound batches. Your jerky seasoning, dehydrator, that's important. Um, a jerky gun, that makes it so much easier. You can just cut it in strips off the, off the actual animal, but we just like to do it with a jerky gun because it makes it easier and you can use ground. And then a bowl to mix everything. And a little bit of water. So yeah, to start off, you're gonna take your jerky season and read the directions. Now I haven't done this in a while, so I'm not sure what the uh, what the old mix is here. I can figure out how to get this thing open. Oh, I see. It's one of them guys. Come on. There it is. There it is. seasoning right there. Alright, so we need about five tablespoons. I forgot a tablespoon. All right, right back. Right, so you need a tablespoon. That's important. So you take your meat and just kind of start. I'm going to get this jerky gun out of the way. Take your meat and just start chunking it in there. Just a little bit of time. It's just, there's not really enough room in the tin foil pan to mix it up, you know. So do one of those guys. And then five tablespoons of this. I'm actually gonna add about half. Oh, I spilled some, that's good. So that's one. Oh gosh, I'm just throwing this stuff everywhere. Two, two and a half. So then add a little bit. It says to add a cup of water. I didn't bring a cup because I'm smart like that. So I'm just gonna add a little, bit, a little drizzle. And you just gotta mix it all together. Then there, make sure you get the bottom part of the seasoning so it gets all nice and Nice and seasoned, as you, as they say. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna add some more now. Two. Okay. Gotta mix it up. Get all. Make sure all the meat gets a little flavor in there because that's important. You don't want to have a strip of jerky that's just straight meat. And a little bit more water. All right, there you go. So that's not, doesn't take too long. Just get it all kind of mixed up. It was very cold actually, this was in the fridge. So then what you want to do, I'm gonna get this out of the way so you don't drip any meat in it. I'm gonna take your jerky gun, start stuffing meat down there. It's easier sometimes, sometimes I'll help my dad, my dad will help me. One of us will make little balls and then throw them down there. That makes it a lot easier to do, a lot faster. Because right now I'm just trying to stuff it and it's not really working. All right, so I got my meat tube mostly stuffed here. So what you can do is screw that head on. And I think you guys can see this here. Take your jerky on. Start doing, start shooting jerky. Oh, yeah, definitely was not full. Yikes. Okay, here it comes. So you just want to kind of do little strips there. That's, yeah. I'm out of practice of this, but yeah, just. Do your strips like that. That's all you gotta do. So yeah, we're gonna basically just keep shooting strips like this until we do all five pounds, which should take up most of these dehydrator trays. And then I'll show you guys how we dehydrate them. All right, so we've got all of our trays of jerky here. Ended up being, let's see, five trays or so. So what you wanna do, take it, put it onto the hydrator here. So I got an awkward pull for you guys. like so. 
put your little cover on. And it goes that way. Okay. I'm going to plug it in. That helps as well. There you go. Set it about 115. I crank it up to about one. I don't know, 120 or so there. I normally want to go for eight or 10 hours. So I gotta go to school, but I'll see you guys when I get home. Hopefully it'll be done. Well folks, it's been almost exactly 12 hours since I put this jerky in this morning. I went to school and stuff and I came home. I think it turned out all right. I did realize I made some mistakes. That's all right. Feels like it came out pretty good. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and, ooh. We go taste test. That's pretty good. Ooh. Okay. Definitely could use a little more flavor. So I think part of the problem was that seasoning was super old that I used. And I realized I did forget one of thing. I'm supposed to put in this pink salt. Not really sure what it's called, but yeah, I just look up like pink, I think it's called curing salt or something like that. It's supposed to kill all the stuff that's in here. I didn't put that in here, but I think part of the reason for that is to help pre preserve it. So we'll have to keep this in the fridge and eat it pretty quick, which I will, trust me. But yeah, pretty good. And the other thing, you're supposed to set it to around 160, not 120 or 130 like I put on this morning. So yeah, those were a couple mistakes. Don't do the same thing I did. So what you need, do all the same th same things I did this morning. Um, the seasoning, the water, Mix it all together, put it, put it on there, but then you're gonna need 160 for about 10 to 12 hours. And kind of, yeah, one, I say once you start to get to nine or 10, start checking it, see what consistency you like. Like, I'd say this is perfect for me, but if I wanna let it go longer, I'll leave it on a couple more hours. So yeah, it's really good though. Like I said, it's so healthy for you. This is just straight, lean meat. And it tastes good. That seasoning makes it really good. Mm, that was a better piece. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys can go out and make some jerky yourself. I'm gonna look at the final product there. Yeah, so we got five trays of jerky. There's some more jerky. From around five pounds of venison. Five pounds of venison. So if you get one buck that you just dedicate to jerky, that's a lot of jerky. So yeah, hopefully you guys will start making this. It's one of our favorite snacks to do. And you, this is just a pretty simple dehydrator. There's not much more we can do on it. Um, I've seen some guys do it in ovens and stuff. That works okay too, but the hydrator, I think, is where it's at. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.